happy Friday. Welcome to the weekend and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my journey into the world of aesthetics. This is a personal journey. It's my own story. Let's get right into it. I was originally inspired to help people heal through beauty at a very young age. When I was a teenager, I was the one who was tweezing my friend's eyebrows, pinning them down, tweezing them eyebrows, poking at their zits, putting makeup on them, and just, you know, kind of in their face, monkeying around a little bit. So I had heard about this field called aesthetics. I'm like, oh, being an esthetician. Hmm. That sounds really cool. An esthetician just checked all the boxes for me. So I went to school. I went to school at a little tiny place in Napa, California. As I was going through the program, I realized that there were some lumps on my neck. When I looked at myself straight on, I noticed that like this side of my neck went in, this side of my neck was kind of lumpy. I remember looking in the mirror at 19 years old, just thinking like, well, that's not right. That's not right at all. I went to the doctor who then sent me to a specialist, who then sent me to another specialist. CT scans, biopsies, an MRI later, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. The doctor who showed me the MRI showed me that there were tumors all up into my cheekbone, down into my throat, and down into my lungs. In the middle of my aesthetics program, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. I finished the program. I had surgery. Then it was a long surgery. And then radiation a while later and then I had to have surgery again and another round of radiation. So, and after those rounds of radiation were done, then I went and got my license. It's like a really big step into adulthood. You know, I'm 20, 21. I have this license that gives me freedom, it gives me income, and it gives me a way to connect and care for people in a deep and meaningful way. I just gone through this experience. I had family stuff going on at the same time. It was a really uh, interesting introduction to adulthood. So I then worked at the top spa in Marin County, California. I worked there for several years. I learned a lot from very, very talented estheticians. After two years, I was beginning to kind of feel bored. I heard about lasers, how amazing lasers are. And I found out that estheticians at the time were not allowed to touch a laser in the state of California. So I thought, well, you know, I'm not really connecting with my life here in California much anymore. I I'm really inspired by this laser stuff. I'm getting really deep into Argentine tango. I hear Oregon's great, I hear Portland's really great. I wanna go check that out. So I went to Portland, Oregon, visited for a couple days and I was sold. I'm like, great. So Portland has a phenomenal dance culture. It's wonderful for Argentine tango, something I had been getting more and more into. I knew that I could learn about lasers in Portland. So, packed up, moved, didn't know anybody. Over the years, over the years there, I would, you know, go to a lecture on lasers over here, and then I would audit a class over here, or I would work for a doctor for a period of time and get some training. The the learning that I was doing was very much the game of telephone. So it wasn't 
thorough. There was no license. There was no advanced license. There was no master license yet at that time in the early 2000s, early mid 2000s. So I'm trugging along, trugging along, trugging along, doing my basic aesthetics and I'm getting really into nutrition. I'm getting into Reiki. I'm getting into the lymphatics, you know, the whole body, which was great. And I'm still feeling like in the back of my mind, there's there's something more I can be doing. Lo and behold, 2015 came around. I heard about this school in Portland, Oregon. You guys, Spectrum Advanced Aesthetics. They had a huge program where you could learn everything, so much about lasers, from the very, very basics to really advanced stuff. Mary Nielsen, the owner, takes you from step one all the way through to 10. I went, met her once, sold. I got myself into the program. During this time at this program, I finished up my business. I sold everything with my business. I was working a tiny little part-time job at Massage Envy. Woo-woo, Estheticians at Massage Envy, what's up? And I was hosting uh, tango events every Thursday. I was so busy and I was so inspired. I was tired and <laughs> loving it, loving it. Oh my God. It made me so passionate and hungry for more. So um, if you're living in the Pacific Northwest and you want an amazing school to go to, I'm just gonna shamelessly plug Spectrum Advanced Aesthetics now and a link to their school is going to be in the description box below where you can check them out. Can't say enough good stuff about them. So once I graduated, I got my license. Once I found a good fit, I found myself managing a tattoo removal clinic on the east side of Portland. That was great for a while. I met my sweetheart. I fell in love and him and I were long distance for about a year and a half. He, he lived in Olympia, Washington. I was in Portland. I had been feeling at that point after living in Portland for 11 years, kind of, kind of done. I decided I'm going to maybe look into teaching. This could be really interesting. I've been doing this for a long time now. I'm wondering if maybe I could get teaching under my belt. And during the course of my time at the tattoo removal clinic, I became a certified laser trainer with a laser company. So I decided let's teach. I packed up all my stuff. I moved to Olympia. I got my own little place. I taught for a very short time. After just a few months of being there, my sweetheart, he was promoted within the agency that he works for and he was offered a position in Bellingham, Washington. So I thought, well, we've been long distance this long and I, I want to come with you. Here we are all these years later. I am at a phenomenal place. It's called Rejuvenation MD here in Bellingham and I love it. It is wonderful. It's been a very long journey. I, I found that I've worked in many, many different environments. I've worked in salons. I've worked at spas. I've worked in dermatology offices. I've worked in medi clinics. Uh, a lot of different environments. And so where I'm at now, I'm very, very happy and I'm so excited to begin this channel with all of you. So that is my story of how I got into aesthetics, my kind of my story of how I stumbled into adulthood. It was a rough start. 
but yeah. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to be going to a Cyton event in Portland. I'm going to be vlogging and hopefully I will get to introduce you to Mary Nielsen, the owner of Spectrum Advanced Aesthetics herself. So stay tuned. Look forward to seeing you again. Have a great weekend.